here are some of the general rules that I follow every time I texture a mechanical asset such as this one using Substance Painter. Start by baking deformation maps such as ambient occlusion, curvature, etc. I like to establish my color palette using fill layers or the base materials as I like to call them. Just like in Photoshop, you can layer these materials in a vertical stack and expose them using masks. Polygon Fill Tool enables you to quickly assign parts of the object to their masks. At this point, I start introducing more diverse materials, such as metals. You can use existing substance materials from the library or build your own if you are a more advanced substance tools user. Play with the material properties to get the desired look. Did you know that textures can emit light? In Substance Painter, you are able to paint into the emission channel and make parts of your object glow. Use the brush tool to create unique design elements on your object. Use fonts to create all sorts of signs on your object. This is a non-destructive process. You can always change your text or even a font. Vector files can be used as textures, which means you can utilize your graphic design skills to design something very unique and bring it over to Painter. And of course, regular images work as textures just fine. Introduce translucency to create a glass effect. Sometimes I combine occlusion as a base color and multiply blending mode in order to create occluded dirt effect. Similar trick works with curvature information map and overlay blending mode in order to create the worn edges effect. Smart masks are a fast and powerful way of creating dirt and other wear and tear details, which adds a lot of character to the final look of your object. If you're aiming for the photorealistic look, you'll need to spend some time really working in those details, but don't forget to have fun in the process.